Hi guys. So we are here again with another vlog and this time we are at Janpat. So you must have been to Janpat I'm sure a hundred times but this time I'll take you my way, the way I see Janpat. Come along. This is the road, I'm sure everybody here knows that. And right after you cross the road, these are these little stalls where you get um, lots and lots and lots of jewelry. You have uh, rings, you have earrings for 50 rupees, you have neck pieces, uh, these ones are for 80 and on the wall are 100 and towards the extreme left you have for uh, 150. You have danglers, you have tiny studs that you can put on, you have these rings, these are for 80 uh, bucks. Amazing pieces, loaded with uh, jewelry of course, these are 100, all of them and these are 150. And then you have um, everything here for 30 rupees. All the earrings are for 30 rupees. Uh, up next, you have a lot of books, a lot of uh, novels actually that you know you can buy for rupees 200. And if you bargain, they might also give it to you for 150. A lot of variety for books. And on the Janpath Lane, on the main road towards Janpath, uh, these are the shops where. You know, you have jewelry shops, you have uh, saris, dress materials, uh, home decor, jewelry again. So these shops would be a little expensive, so I would suggest you, you know, um, explore them at your own risk if you really want to buy something. This one shop has uh, the same print, uh, short kurtis, long kurtis. A one piece dresses all of them blue in color and then you have a, a lot of uh, home decor and uh, you know these um, wind chimes and uh, dream catchers and if you keep walking you have a lot of wall hangings and uh, neck pieces and of course uh, the same thing you know dream catchers I love these tiny boxes, show pieces. Right, so here we start with the proper Janpat market. You have these stops right from 150 to uh, there is no limit of course, but you know, get your bargaining skills in place. The one on the top, their right hand side, these are all one pieces, shirt uh, dresses. And here on the top, this uh, white color top, I just loved it. This was made of that uh, chiffon material and with an embroidery on the top with no sleeves. And he said 300, I said, uh, give it to me for 150. He said, uh, ma'am, please go. <laughs> so I had no choice, I just walked off. This is how you enter into the Janpath market. And towards the moment you enter the Janpat market, towards your left, you have those amazing, uh, you know, flower vases and flowers, artificial flowers. This set was for 650. That's what he said. I'm sure if I had to bargain, he would uh, definitely come down. And this he said 500, and this one was for 400. This tiny one, amazing, very sweet. These are called Japanese flowers. Um, and. Uh, here you have those uh, tiny bamboo shoots, you know, which are uh, as per Feng Shui are supposed to be very lucky. I've already got them, so I didn't want to buy more. And uh, if you keep walking, probably um, two or three feet down, you have this stall which had lovely one pieces, but they had a band in the center, which I don't like. I want one completely flowing. Uh, that is what I like. Something in the middle which has a band, I don't prefer that. And you have these um, trousers and tops. These trousers are two in. They are in work actually. 
and here you have these belts ranging from um, four four hundred to again you know could be uh, five hundred six hundred and whatever how much ever you can get them down to I wanted a tan color uh, belt a thick one but this dude was bent on selling this um, I don't know what stuff it is I had just had to walk off from there and this is um, a heaven I just love this shop everything here every piece was for 50 rupees you pick up anything you want and you would get it for 50 you see that yellow one I bought that and uh, there is so much of variety so much of uh, stuff here you talk about danglers you talk about uh, earrings you talk about uh, chokers neck pieces necklaces um, bracelets everything is for 50 of course a single piece for 50 I picked up loads I'll show them to you in my uh, next haul my try on haul what all I, I got from this place this uh, this shop this stall is one place I did not want to uh, leave just wanted to stay there and keep shopping and shopping and shopping guys must check out you must must check out this place and you can thank me later on or curse me later on I made you spend so much <laughs> Okay, and then we had these um, shade um, reflector, uh, reflectors or whatever you call them. I would suggest uh, don't buy them from here. They're not that good. They will harm your eyes. And right opposite to those two shops, those um, shades and, you know, the other shop, you have this home decor shop. Beautiful it is. These are those lamps and those watches, you know, the clocks. Um, I mean, some dream catchers and um, bells. Beautiful. And then starts the main jump out the clothing market now I have a shirt the same um, blue shirt this is greenish but I have a blue shirt that's from Lee and this dude was selling it only for 400 so I mean of course because I have one so I'd not buy it just wanted to check the price <laughs> you have these shorts which he said was for 250 but I did not buy there were some purses and I love this blue top also he was saying 500 and I said a 250 he did not agree so I just walked off he, he kept calling me but then I did not go back and the shrug was another beauty piece but the stuff wasn't too good now this market is loaded I love this uh, one piece also it's a little short but I just loved it and then you have these trousers which I, I got one uh, khaki color here it is towards the uh, left nice one it was this was also for 250 so i picked up one then you have these shorts you have these formal shorts uh, on the top you also have denim shorts anything good you could pick up for um 150 to 200 and of course as you all know john is flo flooded with um lowers and uh, stuff and t-shirts and tops this was one piece but because it had full sleeves um, mm -mm, not my type and then again these are so common i'm sure every girl um, must be tired wearing them it's time to take them off the market this is another beautiful piece blue color um it, it was kind of a little peplum but beautiful and then he had jeggings uh, these were for 500 and uh, bargaining you know uh, no matter how much you do he came down to um, 300 250 and then these are pants with uh, skirts on the top that uh, I didn't like them so I don't wear much these is a wraparound I bought one I'll show you not this one but and this is again a beautiful lure which I really love but it was too big so I had to chop it um, I would have to chop it that's the reason I could not buy this was for 600 a beautiful top it was too 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 large for me I would not do justice to it so I didn't buy any uh, market any shop you see I mean things have become so common all these shops are so available so at access a lot of shirts, a lot of variety, a lot of denim shirts. 
casual shirts, formal shirts. Like this um, white color top. This is uh, a short dress. Beautiful it was. This dude had a lot of uh, shirts, a lot of uh, maxis. This is another pink color. Checks one piece. This is the one that I bought. Halter um, inner. Beautiful. when you go to this market I'm sure when we girls go to such markets you know we have to keep a, a, a good watch on our wallets you know because we we tend to spend so much we want just everything I love the shirt also this maroon color plain shirt beautiful but he said 300 I wanted for 200 probably I'm not too good at bargaining that's the reason people don't you know give it to me and this shop had everything for 50 again beautiful it was you really have to dig in you know if you really want a good masterpiece now outside these shops we had uh, there were these um, neck pieces where everything was for 100 rupees you pick up a piece and pay 100 good variety here we had um, earrings which was 50 rupees per piece I'm sure these are nothing special these are so common everybody has um, access to I'm sure everybody has one I don't wear uh, heavy earrings because my face is a little small so I didn't buy any but I think I should they're so tempting they're so um, inexpensive I got a, a bun stick for 50 this one's a little big I picked up a smaller one and these were anklets 50 uh, rupees each a lot of variety. And then you had those bells, um, tiny thin bells, and uh, they would, he was selling four for 100 rupees. Yeah, I love this earring also. Again, 100 rupees per piece. These chokers, these uh, neck pieces. So I had already picked up so many from the 50 rupee shop. Here, this guy had sling bags and clutches and things just for uh, I think 200 rupees. Yeah, all sling bags, all of them, different colors. Coming out of the market, to your immediate left, there was this bag, um, first fellow, and you have a lot of white shirts and lovely curtains also. They still had lovely curtains because they don't wear curtains, so not as good size. But a lot of variety. Here, this guy was was uh, selling uh, shrugs and uh, t-shirts for um, 150, two for 150. I tried to pick up um, one or two things, but uh, I, I don't know, I, I thought these were dirty. So I did not pick up anything. I picked up um, a skirt, which I'll share with you guys. So we had seen the left uh, side, I'm now going back, going out of Janpath, towards the right side, I guess it's all men's section. Uh, you've, you've got a lot of t-shirts and denims and stuff. There was this one guy who had kurtis, or men shirts, t-shirts. And you had boxers and shorts. I'm sure uh, these were cheap, very inexpensive, 100 rupees uh, per piece, but uh, I'm sure they were not too comfortable, you know, 
they were a little um, not properly made stitched I would say so I kept walking kept walking burnt a lot of calories <laughs> yeah this guy had a lot of kurtis they were ladies um, you know running after this shop and had a lot of variety this was again towards your right side when you walking out of the market a lot of shirts also and I wanted to buy some shorts cargo type shorts so I picked up one this was for 650 and then uh, you go inside this is near deep holes you have these chapels these um, shoe shop another one loaded if you have time you can check them out and uh, you can also bargain as per your uh, skills and then is, there is this lovely shop called deep hall if you come to janpath and you do not come here um, justice not done earlier when i had started going to this place used to sell coffee for 40 bucks this time it is 65 bucks the bottle has become tiny and uh, caramel and uh, mocha tastes the same haha <laughs> Now there is this uncle, another well, of my favorite shops, he has all hair accessories. So I bought a lot of stuff from you, a lot of clutchers and um, bands and you know, headbands. There was a sale on bellies, this Baya was selling things for 300, 400, 250. These lovely phone cases, phone covers for 200 each. These cute looking purses, clutches, and wallets just for 250. It's so pretty. And then there were these slippers, throw away. Uh, I'm not sure, these are, I guess are uh, old stocks, so that's the reason he had kept them out. Uh, very nice ones 200 each so this was the end guys if you uh, enjoyed watching the video you know what to do we are exiting from here and before we exit <laughs> there's another shop for the jewelry the junk jewelry 100 rupees per each all right guys so like i said if you enjoyed watching this video if you um uh, really liked it please make sure you hit uh, the like subscribe uh, button and um, I will see you soon with another video. So till then, you take good care of yourself and uh, love you all. Bye-bye.